Welcome all to the Moline High School 2020 Commencement Ceremony. First, I would like to congratulate every student from the class of 2020 on their outstanding accomplishments. Your hard work, tenacity, persistence, and ambition has led each and every one of you here today. I would also like to extend congratulations and thank you to all of the parents, guardians, and loved ones of the graduates. You too deserve to be celebrated because without all of you, truly none of this could be possible. The past 13 years of school were certainly fun, but now we have all turned a page in our life. Tonight marks our transition from childhood into adulthood, meaning, no, meaning now is the time to find and pursue our passion. It's time to identify a direction to travel in and go forward with life. The class of 2020 is the future. Here before us today, we have future doctors, future nurses, future lawyers, and even future educators. As the 2020 senior class president, I would like to wish all of you the best in your future endeavors. I believe each and every one of us is destined for greatness. Today, I'm going to leave you guys with a quote from the former First Lady, Michelle Obama. The only limit to the height of your achievements is the reach of your dreams and your willingness to work hard for them. Graduation is often seen as the symbolic rite of passage into life as an adult, the first step towards pursuing our dreams. Many times we are so caught up in this leap into the future, getting our high school life over with so we can make our way into the real world, that we keep forgetting high school life is also the real world. I think the unexpected circumstances that turned the end of our senior year upside down made us realize this a bit more. That our senior seasons, banquets, performances, events, friendships, classes, teachers, the whole shebang meant a lot more to us than we thought. The class of 2020 is unique in that we had many of these defining moments taken away from us by no fault of our own. Something far bigger than any of us could have ever imagined swept away the last three months of our senior year. But the class of 2020 is not tragic. We are resilient. We had to grow up faster than many classes before us. We had to put the safety and welfare of others above our own expectations. Our generation is so often criticized for our egocentrism but we had to learn the lesson of selflessness in the face of global distress. It is our tenacious spirit that kept us through this. I could not be more proud of each and every single one of you, my graduating class. We cannot let this setback define our high school experience. We cannot let it define us. The bright purple glittery bath bomb moments are what give me meaning to our time at Moline, honoring our traditions, celebrating our successes, learning and growing from our failures. There is so much beauty in the way we support one another through our different interests and, and passions, not despite them. In theater, we have a term for our, the energy and vitality that allows us to create and collaborate to the fullest extent, Moline magic. Every single one of us is bursting with Moline magic. No matter where you go in life, your time at Moline is always going to be a part of you, and that means something. It won't be the memories like this, sitting through speeches and names that you hold most dear. It's the roar of the superfan section under the Friday night lights, the pure sense of relief taking your heels off after a dance, the pounding of your heart during curtain call, the tears in your eyes when you've accomplished something incredible with the people you love. It's the intimate connections you've cultivated over the past four years, the rekindling of an old friendship, an acquaintance you always smile at in the hallway between fifth and sixth period, the shoulder partner you high five when you get a question right. The human condition is the human connection. We do a lot for ourselves, but it is when we are together that we can move mountains. There is no group of people I would rather graduate with, no group of people more astounding and unique. Take pride in who you are as a member of this historic graduating class. There is such a dazzling future ahead of you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Isaac Ruiz. I would like to begin by welcoming the graduating class of COVID-19 and our extended family. Yeah, I know, I know. It's 2020, but I had to say it. I'm sure all of us can interpret our high school years differently. Our four years here help shape each of us into our future selves. They are our transition from childhood to adulthood. Throughout these four years, we have met many people who have helped us grow and influence us in some way. I still remember my early days in high school. I was this really skinny freshman with one main goal, to make the soccer team and play with the varsity squad. As you can tell, I'm still skinny, 
but at least I made the team, met some great people, and I'm here now presented with the opportunity to give this speech. Only high school offers experiences and opportunities like these. Like I said before, although our time here has been different for all of us, I'm sure we can all agree that the past four years have been full of experiences we will cherish for a lifetime. Things like going to our first dance, having our first girlfriend, getting our driver's license, freezing at football games, and if you know, you know, homecoming week. We don't get to repeat this time of our lives, so soak it all in. There will be lots to miss as time goes by. All the random conversations with friends, that one time the bus driver drove over the speed bump a little too fast, even that one kid who pulled the fire alarm when he was freezing outside and we didn't have our hoodies on. Yeah, you too. Let us not forget about our wonderful teachers that have contributed their time day after day to help us learn. It's definitely not an easy job to take groups of fresh minds and teach them the necessary life skills to succeed. Thank you and all of the parents, grandparents, and relatives tuning in today. Even those that for some odd reason did not give us any graduation money. I would now like to ask you to take a second to look back at how far you have come, or should I say we? Like Drake once said, we started from the bottom and now the whole team here. Regardless of what accomplishments each of us had during our four years here, there is no doubt we grew as a group. And for that reason, I am proud of us, all of us. This is our day to celebrate all of our accomplishments and hard work. Yes, us, the class of 2020. And although our mouths may be covered, our eyes are not. Meaning our 2020 vision remains bright as we transition into our adult life. With that said, I hope that life blesses you with good health, happiness, and success for years to come. From the bottom of my heart, regardless of what your goal or passion may be, I wish each and every single one of you the best, and I always will. Thank you for the ride, Class of 2020. Congratulations, Class of 2020. We are so incredibly proud of you and for all of the work you have done to achieve this important life milestone. We know that you are the class that has given up so much, but you are also the class that has stepped up the most. I had the chance to survey members of the class of 2020 last spring and was blown away by the strength, maturity, and tenacity that many of you shared with me. I know that so many of you stepped up to help your families, your neighbors, and others in the community. You were working long hours to help make family ends meet. You were babysitting, taking care of the elderly, volunteering, making masks, tutoring younger students, and so much more. You may also be the class that has learned the most, learned the most life lessons, that is. When I asked what you learned during the pandemic that you would carry on through your life, through adulthood, you provided some amazingly wise and intuitive answers. You said you were going to live each day to the fullest and not take the little things for granted. You are going to place higher value on the face-to-face -face time you get to spend with your loved ones. You acknowledge that sometimes you have to figure things out on your own and now know that you are capable of doing so. You learned that time doesn't come back and that every moment, every memory, and every interaction and experience is valuable. Many of you shared that you gained the new skill of becoming more flexible and to not let challenges and disappointments that we all know will happen in life derail you. You have become more patient, understanding, and accepting when things do not go your way or how you would have planned or had hoped. This is indeed a very valuable life lesson. You learned discipline and time management. You learned to turn negative experiences into learning experiences and use them to make you stronger and more resilient. You learn to be empathetic as you checked on your friends, your, your grandparents, and those around you who may have been struggling with mental illness. Some of you pointedly said that you were going to hope for the best, but prepare for the worst in life. Be grateful and not take for granted that the people around you and supporting you will always be there. And you learn to make the best out of a terrible situation. My favorite response from a senior was that in life, major you-know-what is gonna go down and you won't be able to do anything about it. I would add to that wise advice and say that while you might not be able to control it, you can control how you respond. The class of 2020 responded with grace and strength. And for that, I can simply say, you were not the class that lost the most, 
you were the class that gained the most. I wish you the best from the bottom of my heart. We are proud of you and so excited for the amazing things that you will do, places you will go, and the people that you will become. Congratulations. Good afternoon, class of 2020. The students in this class were born and raised to be resilient. They entered the world in the wake of the 9-11 tragedies. They spent their childhood listening to news reports of the subsequent wars and terrorist attacks. They've watched their sports heroes kneel down in protest before games, and they've witnessed the impact the death of George Floyd has had across the nation. And of course, they've had their senior year shattered by a global pandemic that only seems to be gaining momentum. These students were made for resilience. There's just no other way to explain the tremendous success they've had in the Molinco Valley School District. They thrive even in the face of adversity. Of our 472 graduates in the class of 2020, 229 are representing their grade point average of a 3.0 or higher by wearing a gold tassel today. This class boasts 47 Illinois State Scholars, 37 Presidential Academic Scholars, 104 members of the National Honor Society, and one remarkable National Merit Scholar, Deborah Arul. These are pretty impressive academic achievements, but this is certainly not a one-dimensional class. Leadership has been a cornerstone of their high school contribution. The class of 2020 raised over $45,000 to clothe the 315 district students in ShareJoys and they collected over 20,000 pounds of food for the student hunger drive. We have representatives from this class attending Ivy League schools. One student, Taylor Puglisi, is heading to West Point, and many others are headed into direct military service, college, and skilled trade training. The class of 2020 is the first in the greater Quad City area to begin a CNC manufacturing apprenticeship program and our student athletes continue to lead the conference in athleticism, character, and academics with 44 scholar all-conference athletes and 90 all-conference athletes. The accomplishments of this class set them apart as a group who is hungry for success. Despite losing the end of their senior year, these students have learned how to take advantage of the opportunities placed before them. So rather than lament the loss of their senior year rites of passage, I'm inclined to celebrate their ingenuity, their drive, and their resilience, as these are the foundations of a strong character that our graduating class takes with them to their next adventure. It has been an honor to facilitate your education for the last four years. We owe a tremendous thanks to your families and teachers for their support, and to you for learning to thrive in this world. As you go out into this world, keep finding ways to change and grow and learn and do your best to improve things along the way. Congratulations, class of 2020. You finally, officially graduated. Hello, class of 2020. My name is Sangeetha Rayapati, and on behalf of the Moline Coal Valley Board of Education, I want to wish you congratulations on your graduation. By this point in the summer, you may have some serious pandemic fatigue. The end of high school was some time ago, and you may feel the extended graduation celebrations butting up against the joys and possibilities of the next phase of your life, whether that is work, military service, or further education. Being in a life limbo like that can get draining but it gives us all a chance to do what my mom always admonished me to do when I was restless and confused. And that was to stay open. She meant stay open to the possibilities that lie just around the corner. Stay open to changing the expectations you have for your life and work. Stay open to the surprises that inevitably cross our paths because sometimes what we don't expect shows us opportunities we didn't dream were possible. Congratulations again and best wishes for continued happiness. Friends, on this day, while much delayed, the accomplishments, milestones, and relationships we have experienced over our last four years have been formally recognized. Certainly, the final weeks of our senior year 
The moments we felt that our entire lives had been leading towards did not come to pass in the way that we thought that they would. Yet, look where we are now. We are gathered together with beaming faces and proud hearts, surrounded by people who have changed our lives. We are still moving forward into our next chapters. As we look toward our futures, always remember that you have already overcome. You have already done good things, and you have already built a foundation which will enable such great advancement. Go forth in confidence and grace, class of 2020, and break a leg. Yeah.